Part 1, Tips for College Students by Taylor Roberts. Tip 1, limit the number of credit hours you take, especially freshman year. I posted this chart. You have to remember that for every class you take, you have to leave some time to study. So if you take 12 hours, 12 credits, you'll be in class about 10 hours, and therefore, you need about one day worth of hours to study during the week. If you take 18 credit hours, you'll spend 15 hours in class, needing 39 hours a week to study. That's about five hours and 50 minutes a day that you'll be studying. And that doesn't leave a lot of time to do other fun things. Tip two, research books to find the best deals. Check Amazon and check bigwords.com or even the library. You can also ask professors if you really need the book for class. That way, you can get the best deal and save money so that you can buy that $5 pizza next week. Tip three, see if your college offers free tutoring or writing services. They may even offer free resume writing services. There's nothing wrong with asking for help, especially when it's free. Tip four, talk with your professor about jobs and networking. Your professor is your ally. They know information that you might not know, and they can tell you places where to look for that information. They might know about work study opportunities or summer internships. They may know about scholarships, and they're willing to help you as long as you're willing to ask. Tip five, create a professional email. Now that you're in college, you're going to be looking to get those opportunities of scholarships and internships. And an important part of that is having a professional email. An email like hotchocolate93 at yahoo.com doesn't sound as professional as billy.smith02 at gmail.com. You also want to think about the email company you go with. Gmail and Google or Outlook and Microsoft are more professional sounding and have more experience with working with those higher up companies. Tip six, create a business card. A business card shows others that you are serious about networking, being professional, and finding those opportunities. Your business card really needs to show who you are and a little bit of information about you. When someone sees my business card, they notice that the color is green. Green may be money, but it also means nature. So they know that I am all about nature. They see a picture of a globe as my symbol, but the plant and a hand. So they know that I really care about the earth. That tells them that my major is environmental science and policy. You also want to make sure that you have your entire name on your business card, your degree, the city and state you're from, or where you're looking for work, your telephone number, and your email address. Also carry a pen. That way when you hand out your business card, you can make sure that you put where you met this person and the day on date. So this person may look back and say, oh, I met Taylor Lania Roberts at the Chase of Chicago in July. Tip seven. Find jobs that improve your work while on break from college, be that spring break, winter break, or summer break. Another thing is you have to look early because those jobs are being filled by college students all around your state or your city. I like to say look in January for March or for even June jobs. If you're looking for something in the winter time, start looking in September and October. The earlier you look, the better chance you have of getting that job. It's important to beef up your resume because college is the time for new experiences, learning more about yourself, and finding those people who make you better. Tip eight, research your major. Know your values, learn about yourself, identify your skills, 
research career options, link your major and your career. A really good resource to use is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. You can search occupational handbook on Google and find all of the information you ever want to know about different careers, the career growth, how do you get that career, the education you might need, how much the person makes in your state and other states you might want to move to. Researching your major is a key and important part of not only saving money, but growing as an adult. Research is an important skill for every job, and the more you do it, the better you get at it. Tip nine, find people who make you better. You want to find people who are willing to grab a brick and help you build up your building and yourself. You don't want people who will grab the bat to break you down. Surround yourself with people like visionaries, people who are passionate, inspired, motivated, open-minded, humble, and grateful. Those are all things you need to be a great person and a great worker. Tip 10. If you can't pay for it with cash, you can't buy it with credit. Cash is king, credit is queen. You need both to be successful in life. Don't ruin your credit because you want to buy those new pair of gym shoes or you can't wait to get that new phone. When you graduate college, you want to be able to get your own apartment and maybe get a car when you get that fancy new job. But you can't do those if you've destroyed your credit. So I always go with, if I can't buy something with cash, then I can't put it on my credit because credit means I still have to pay it back. I'm just paying it back at a higher interest. Example, if you don't buy that new laptop for $400, that laptop really cost you $800 because of the interest on your credit card. If you really need something, see if there are scholarships for you to pay for it or try to save your money, or you may need to become better at budgeting. Tip 11, set goals and achieve them. Vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes the time. And vision with action can change the world. Set goals for yourself and go out and reach them. The only person standing in your way is you. You are a company and you are the CEO of that company. You have to invest in yourself before you can expect others to invest in you as well. Set those goals and set them high. Maybe you'll set a goal that says you'll be on perfect honor roll or dean's list your freshman year. Maybe you're simply wanting to join a new club, find new friends, meet new people. Maybe your goal is to save a hundred bucks. Whatever your goal is, set them and achieve them. Because every time you achieve your goals, you're just one step closer to becoming the best you you can possibly be. Thank you for watching and I hope you found some information that can be useful on your journey through college and through life.